Yo, what popcorn? My name is Diesel Weasel. That's Diesel Two L's. Weasel Two L's. Why Two L's? I have no idea. And we're back here again with another Skyforge video. Uh, today we'll be going over uh, something that the game doesn't really tell you about uh, in the beginning or at all, for my sake. Uh, yeah, oh, let's go over adepts. Let's go over that. So let's uh, quick, fast, hurry. Let's get straight into it. All right, what are adepts? Adepts are basically like followers that you can send out to do missions for you. They're basically NPCs. You don't really see these characters. They're just pretty much little uh, uh, icons you can manage and stuff like that to get you more uh, credits, face, uh, face, faith, <laughs> and also relics that'll uh, help other adepts. So a uh, energy is what your adepts use up. Uh, as you see up there uh, below our adept, we have an energy bar. Your adepts go on quests, your quests eat up energy, but you also do um, recover energy every 15 minutes. So when your adepts, when you bring your adepts back from a quest, they'll recover energy every 15 minutes. Quite a good portion, uh, I might add. It's not, it's not very minuscule, so you'll be able to send them out. I do it really like once a day every time I uh, log on. Uh, who's ever finished up with a quest, I uh, take them off. Uh, have them rest for a bit and put them back on before I get off or in the middle. You know, it just depends on how, uh, how much energy they have left. So, and also too, your adepts have levels, just like your gear. So you'll have like your greens, your blues, and I believe, I haven't got one yet, but I believe maybe they have purples. So, and now let's go through the things I'm probably sure you guys came here for. And what I was lost on in the beginning is your stats. All right, each adept has uh, basic stats here, uh, six basic stats that uh, determine what they can bring you back from quests or how much of what they can bring you back from quests. So let's go over them uh, in order here. We'll start off with agility. Agility uh, grants you relics. So the more agility you have, the more ability you have to bring back relics and relics of greater um, uh, rarities and so the more you want to get that up if you guys want more relics so you can add on to your other um other adepts so that they can bring you back better you know better stuff better and better relics i guess and then next off we have charisma charisma is tied to faith so the more charisma you have uh the more faith you'll get back so like we'll see here um eventually you'll see in your travel journal uh, if you actually read this which is kind of pretty cool i might add uh, uh on the developer side they're like mini stories they're like journal logs that each adept does that tell you uh the different encounters they had throughout their journey which is pretty nice uh, I, uh which like it was pretty dope just reading a couple of these if you get into it it kind of like immerses you a little bit more into it and like every little journal entry can tell you about what they had if they talked to somebody about uh, uh about you as a god and then that brought up their faith so you got faith from that or they found they won a lotto ticket or something like that and you know it'll it'll tell you exactly what they got from that journey not exactly but it'll give you like a little hint of what what they brought back so uh next we'll go through constitution 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 will give you uh like the amount of time you're able to spend on the journey so each adept can go out like you you even if you if you send out an adept it won't mean that the whole journey will take up all their uh, energy bar so like if you uh let's see if i have an adept here like see i have this adept here who has four percent left and at the bottom you see in a travel journal it says journey ends uh this was a long journey it's time to go back so now i can finish this journey get what my adept get and still have four percent energy in her in her energy bar so that's pretty cool and then we have next off we have intelligence intelligence it'll give you it uh, determines the amount of credits you get so the high if you if you want your adepts to bring you more credits stack up on um add more relics to them that'll bring them back more credits and then perception perception uh is like how can i explain this it's like a crit stat so like it can it's like a multiplier that can apply to every other stat so like if you have high perception and you have high intelligence you have a higher chance of bringing back more credit so like i can crit on that journal entry and then she'll bring me back a lot more credits than if i didn't have like versus like three perception versus ten if you understand that so if i have ten perception and then she goes and finds a lotto ticket i have a chance a higher chance of that lotto ticket critting 
and they bring me back more credits. And then uh, lastly, we have wisdom. Wisdom is uh, what uh, what you uh, want to bring up if you want better uh, better adepts. So the higher wisdom they get, if they find an adept, it's a greater chance of them finding an adept, and also a greater chance of that adept being of higher quality or higher rarity than them. So I can send out, uh, I don't think any of my adepts here did find any other adepts on their quest. So I can show you what that looks like. No, they did not. They suck. No, they don't. They actually got me some pretty good stuff this run. Uh, but that's what they'll do. If you have a higher wisdom, uh, they'll bring you back more adepts and then you can add. So I have one adept here uh, that uh, is awaiting an invitation. And let me go into this too. You only are allowed eight adepts at a time. Well, eight active adepts at a time. So if I have one here, uh, Plan Karis. What kind of blood clot name is that? Uh, Plan Karis. Uh, here who's awaiting an invitation. Uh, I couldn't figure this out in the beginning. Uh, I thought I was like, send him on a journey. It wouldn't let me. Uh, okay. Uh. What I realized is that you have to get rid of one adept that you don't want. So let's say, for instance, oh, she has pretty good stat better than him. Uh, let's see if I have an adept that with sucky stats, let's just get rid of a random adept so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. So uh, let me end her journey really quick. Cancel her journey. All right, let's send her out. And also another uh, another thing I didn't mention, every time you get rid of an adept, you get um, 20 faith. So you're not just like throwing away adepts for nothing. You actually get something back from it, which is pretty good. So you'll see it'll ask you if you make uh, make the adept into a missionary, they will leave you permanently, blah, blah, blah. But you'll get faith instead. And even if you have equip, uh, if you have relics equipped to them, don't worry, you don't have to take them off. They'll automatically go back into your uh, bag. So that's a good thing, too. I don't want to <laughs> have you accidentally uh, getting rid of an adept and then <laughs> getting rid of some good gear you have on them. So hit that. Bam. Minus one adept plus 20 faith. Easy squeezy. Now I can send this guy here. He's just sitting around waiting. Plankarios. He's sitting around waiting. Now I can send this dude out on a journey. Bam. Journey starts. And I think that's about it. Um, oh, also, you know what? I forgot. You don't want to have... You don't want to have adepts sitting down like I had uh, Plankarus. You don't want to have them sitting down there and sending out other adepts. So if you get... Um, because it does have negative effects on on uh, uh, the gear and everything that your other adepts bring back. It does have a little bit of negative effects. So I've heard. Uh, so don't uh, I'm not 100% sure I've yet to test it, but that's what I've been uh, reading on uh, forums and everything on the wikis. They do have negative effects. So if you do get an adept, uh, you see it sucks. You don't really want it. You don't really want to replace it. Replace anybody. Don't keep them there. As soon as you get them, you see them. You don't like them. Get rid of them. Get that 20 faith with the quickness easy squeezy lemon peasy so i think that's about it um yeah so and if this uh video helped you out any time you know drop a like leave a comment hit that subscribe button yeah yeah uh, subscribe yet yeah please okay cool yeah no oh all right cool anyways <laughs> and don't forget man my name is diesel weasel that's diesel two l's weasel two l's why two l's i have no idea <laughs> and have a great day see you next time guys day two the tingles. Grrr.